Hello everyone and welcome once more to yet another of my top weather lists. Today I'm going to be taking a list on Amazon.com, of course that I go to frequently, okay, I don't really go to it anymore, but it's something, but it's an important website, so here are, so here are the top 11 for most unchewed, most chosen, most reviewed, books, movies, whatever, on Amazon.com. Now I did, now there were some songs and non-fiction that were on this list, but I decided not to include them. Alright, here we go. Number 11, Titanic, with 1,997 reviews as stated by the list author. Wait, 1997, that's the same year it came out. I already mentioned this once, so I will not repeat myself. I will say this has the lowest score of anything on this list, so I guess it is dated for recent times, but at least it was popular for a while. Number 10, Left Behind, with 2,155 reviews as stated by the list author. Now, I actually did read the comic book version for a while, and I thought it was pretty good. I think it is safe to say that a few people like this now anyway, but hey, you guys are the ones who made this popular, so your reviewers have no one but yourselves to blame. Ye yep, even Titanic has a lower score. Number 9, Aragon, with 2,507 reviews as stated by the list author. I'm going to start, I'm going to stop saying that from now on. I've never read this before, but I did hear the movie version was pretty bad. Number 8. Star Wars. Specifically, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, with 2,640 reviews. If you want my thoughts on just this one, then I will say I, that I actually did, in fact, like it, even though it is close to Titanic on the lowest score. And you know what? I like Jar Jar Binks. Look, I'm the guy who got my start on the internet by, by posting stuff about the Pokemon anime. Number 7, The Catcher in the Rye, with 2,641 reviews. This is in fact one of my favorite books, and let me just say, may J.D. Salinger rest in peace. His book was in no way intended to justify teen rebellionism, but in fact make fun of it. It does a great job of being realistic, and you should read it. In fact, I happen to have Catcher of the Rye right here. Dang, is this thing dirty? Number 6, The Giver, with 2,922 reviews. I think that this is in fact my favorite fiction book of all time. I was always surprised that it never had a movie based on it, though I assume we'll get one eventually. It tells you all about the world around us, about how we must take everything for what it is, not try to change it just to fit our own needs. And for the record, yes, I happen to have The Giver as well. Number 5, The Matrix, with 2,947 reviews. No, I have not seen the original or any of the sequels, but I'm certainly familiar with the basic premise. Number 4, Holes, with 3,208 reviews. This is made by Lewis Sacker, the same guy who wrote the Wayside School books, another great piece of literature from my childhood. While Lewis is more known for his sillier stuff, it is great that he was able to make something so good on the more serious side. The movie version was great and may in fact be my favorite Shia LaBeouf movie. Number 3, The Lord of the Rings, with 3,540 reviews, which is in fact the movie version of Return of the King. His movies like this that make me glad that I read the books before seeing the movie. As I do not read as many books as I did when I was younger, they'd really draw me back. Number 2. Mean Girls with 4,406 reviews. This one surprised me as I was not expecting it to be the most reviewed book movie on this website. I've never seen this, but at least it, it, it has popular stuff by Lindsay Lohan. And the number one most reviewed thing on Amazon.com is, say it with me, Harry Potter, with 5,801 reviews, specifically Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. There is only one book left to make movies out, out of, so let's hope it is a great adaptation. I did, however, choose to only include one uh, book or movie of its kind, as pretty much all the other Harry Potter books were in the, to were in the top 20. Well, there you go. Top 11 most reviewed things on Amazon.com, and I am, uh, and tune tune next time because I'm going to have a very special tribute to one of my favorite internet websites, internet people. Goodbye.